Hello, it's me Chris and welcome back to another guide. This is the Gold Digger guide on Justified Dark RP server on Gmod. So, to dig for gold first, you need to buy a gold washer in the store. It's this thing, which you can move with your physics gun. Uh, I base here on the beach because it has sand so you can dig. Uh, first, it's recommended to at least have, I would say, 75k or something about that to... Um, start this job as that's where you get much more money so buy the extension for the gold uh, for the gold washer the super pump to increase the speed and also the capacity as that's really useful when you have this gold washer you need to buy nine rubber mats this is what's gonna catch the gold for your uh, I mean your rocks I'm bad at making tutorials just saying so with these rubber mats make sure to put it on this bit of the machine as when you put it here it, it doesn't really work so remember to do it on this first extension which will automatically put it even on this bit so don't worry about it so you put these rubber mats on you can probably right click so it doesn't move all around fam what just happened <laughs> my rubber mat just what okay well i guess i guess with this Tutorial, I'll be missing one rubber mat. That's not supposed to happen. I don't know why that flew through the air. I could okay, whatever, doesn't matter. So you have these rubber mats, you put it on here. Then to actually get the gold, you need to buy a bucket or a bucket follow. So the bucket is ten times cheaper, but you need to bring it everywhere around you with a gravity gun. While the bucket follow, which I definitely prefer. You click E on it and it's a chicken lantern which follows you. So I recommend personally this one. But then you take your shovel out in your fourth bar and then you uh, dig for gold. So <clears throat> from my experience it seems like th there are patterns to where you can find the gold. So the percentage I'm pretty sure just means how much gold it is there is in that gold. So like the concentration of the gold. So the higher the percent the more gold you get. So as you can see the bucket fills up with the gold that I'm digging. Now after you work for a while you do get used to how to find more gold. So if you see the percentage increase in that probably means the direction you're heading to like here has way more gold. And sometimes you can find these logos which I'm pretty sure just mean that it's like it just tells you that there's amount of gold there. But remember that if you do find something like 12% concentration it will not be there forever. I don't know how it works but it like resets so basically that's about it. So as you can see my bucket's filling up. With the normal bucket you would have to bring it everywhere with your gravity gun. And then shovel like next to it basically. And as you can see it fills up again. So when your um, bucket is full, which is like 10,000 kilograms, I mean grams, 10 kilograms, uh, you put it here on this bit, which you can just do it by moving it around, like guiding it like that, or with the normal one, put it like this. That's not what's meant to happen. I don't know why machines just falling over everywhere. Okay, I'm a professional, as you can tell. So you do this, then to actually wash it, wash it for gold, you click on this thing here which will pour water down and as you can see this is the gold getting trapped uh, in the rubber mats wow so shiny voice crack shut up so you get gold and while you're doing that you can get even more gold and because this bucket follows you it's really useful because it automatically collects it all and then if you do find guiding it to the thing hard or like if you're putting this inside or something you can click e on the follow bucket and then just do it like the normal bucket i really do not recommend the normal bucket it's just too difficult to bring it all around just not worth it so as you can see um once it's washed at all you can turn it on or off it doesn't really matter you can leave it on and it w won't make a difference so i'll turn it off so then you can see there is gold on the rubber mats each of these rubber mats can hold a maximum of 500 grams so to get get them from the washi clicky on them all so when they're of the washer, you can click E and what is going on today? There's just glitches after glitches. Normally none of these have happened when I was gold doing gold digger, but basically you click E on it and it drops a jar of gold. Remember each of these mats can hold a maximum of uh, 500 grams of gold. So when it holds its maximum, you will see a red exclamation mark above it which will tell you that it's at its max capacity 
So you can stack these uh, gold jars in stacks of uh, a kilogram. I don't know what's happening. For some reason, everything's just being glitchy right now, but it's fine. Normally it doesn't happen. So you have this jar with which you buy a lantern. This is how you sell the gold. So you put the jar on the lantern. You can carry... They can. You can put three jars of gold on a lantern. So you can carry 300 grams... 3,000 grams of gold on a lantern. And then you click E on it, which will inflate the lantern. I don't know why I keep looking here. But um, basically it just goes up and then it you sell it like that. So... It's really nice that you don't have to go to any like person or anything to sell it, you can just do it anywhere. You can do it on that island or anywhere. And then you just put these mats, remember to put it on this bit, because otherwise it doesn't really work. And basically that's the tutorial to the gold miner. You can, in the current state, you can get quite a lot of money. I've gotten quite a few million just from the gold digger. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.